I'm never, ever, I've never been the type of person that like shoves my beliefs in people's faces ever in my life. I've never had meat in my life. I've never, I've always been a vegetarian and like growing up, I never was like, don't eat that. You right. Know, I don't give a fuck what you eat. Like, it sounds eat so, whatever you want. Yeah, and it's, it sounds so cliche, but you have to start with yourself in order to... Yeah, you do. Yeah. And, like, you know, the people that are always like, I'm a vegan, <laughs> in everyone's face. It's like, you're the reason people don't like vegans. I'm vegan. I'm not, like, out here, like, don't eat that because... Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Like, shut the yeah. fuck up. <laughs> I don't eat it because I have my own reasons for not eating it, and I have yeah. my own beliefs, and I have my own feelings of you know, wanting to save animals and save the planet and whatever, and like, I'm not gonna force anybody to do that because I wouldn't want them to force me. Fuck you, Billy Eyelash. This is exactly why people hate vegans, actually, because of people like her talking like that, dissing other vegans, making other vegans look like a mockery when the actual issue is animals getting hacked apart for no good reason, getting enslaved, tortured, murdered, that's the real issue here. When vegans talk shit about other vegans who are simply speaking directly about this, who are just trying to make people feel some kind of guilt about what they're doing, what other emotion should someone feel other than guilt, really? Also, fuck Billy, because she's actually focusing on being liked, which is a huge insecurity, and she's just projecting that onto everybody else. Do you even understand what you just did. You made the idea of defending animals a fucking mockery. Why? Because people are speaking direct about it. That's the reason. Fuck her because she's focusing on being liked as a priority, which is focusing on getting compassion from animal abusers when the compassion should be directed for the victims of animal abuse. It should be focused on ending the animal abuse and the compassion should be first and foremost directed towards them when speaking about animal rights. And when you focus on getting compassion from animal abusers, you're also making it secondary to give compassion to the animal abuser. So it's actually counterproductive. They're saying, oh, this is why people hate vegans. Well, you're focusing on getting compassion from animal abusers. You're not therefore giving compassion to the animal abusers in the way that you say you are, because that's secondary. Primary is getting compassion from the animal abuser. So it's hypocritical. It doesn't even work in the true sense. They're not really showing compassion to the animal abusers. This is real compassion for the animal abusers. Why? Because it cuts through all the programming for real. It really does cause people to wake up. This has the best chance of getting people to wake up out of their slumber. Their programmed animal abuse, their hatred towards animals. Most vegans care about being liked first and foremost. That goes way before animal rights and promoting animal rights, speaking up for animals directly. If you're not angry, you're not paying attention. Look at what's happening to these innocent beings. If you were to imagine yourself being in their position, even just for one moment, how could you feel anything but angry? This discrimination and hatred that we have towards non-human animals is so deeply buried within us and it's evident that it's in us because people won't even willingly label themselves an animal abuser. They won't say, yep, I'm an animal abuser and I'm proud. They would never say that. Even hunters will not wear that label willingly. They reject that label. What does that say? It says that there's guilt inside. How do you bring about the idea of a moral imperative for them to be vegan. You have to make them feel guilty. How do you make someone feel guilty? You have to say things that make people feel guilty. You can't just sort of suggest things that would lead to them maybe being an animal abuser in a philosophical discussion where it's just a suggestion. That's not how this works. Okay, I'm trying to save you some time now. And this is going to only be true to you and something that you know to be true when you do it for yourself.